Kia ora e hoa. In the last episode of History in the Making, we learnt about Little Paisley, the place in Dunedin where early settlers who were ex-weavers from Scotland lived. We learnt how to weave and to make a, a mini loom. Now today we're going to create Paisley patterns, and to do this all you need is a piece of paper and a pen. So the base of the pattern is a teardrop shape with a curved point, and as long as you have this base shape, you can draw anything you like inside or around it. First I'm going to show you how to draw the base shape, then I'll build it up layer by layer. The paisley pattern is a swirling floral design, and although the pattern was woven into textiles in Paisley, Scotland, its history goes back much, much further. The pattern can be seen in Celtic art, in Persian and Indian designs, and importantly in cashmere shawls. The cashmere shawl was thought to be so beautiful and precious that in the 1700s they were brought to Europe as gifts and worn by the most stylish women. The finest shawls were made of cashmere wool. Now cashmere shawls were very popular but they were also very expensive. So in Britain they were imitated and these versions were much cheaper to buy. The three places in Britain making these kind of shawls were Norwich, Edinburgh and Paisley. And as the imitations were being made, the pattern changed slightly to suit European tastes. And what happens when things like patterns or pictures are copied and recopied is that small changes often begin to occur and then with each copy they become less and less like the original. They become something new altogether. So although the pattern didn't originally come from the town Paisley, the popular pattern took its English name from the town. So now you know the history behind the Paisley pattern and you know how to draw them, you may start to notice them on clothing and fabric today. You may even have some of your own.